Hi and welcome to Family Contents YouTube channel and site. Today I have a post which is here in front of me in the site with the title Are Darkroom Tents Worth It? This is motivated by an uh, angry reader who put a comment uh, and uh, when I wanted to provide a proper answer here to some statements that I received. But before I do this, just to mention that uh, terminology is here quite uh, diverse. So you will see sometimes uh, dark rest tense phrase, dark room, uh, light out, uh, black out, nightfall, and even block out uh, what you have in the core uh, brand. So all these uh, terms actually describe tense with uh, reduced light inside and uh, it can be up to 99% reduced when everything is closed. Now to the to the comment uh, from my reader who uh, wrote that I was parroting Coleman by mentioning this 99% uh, reduced light and then uh, there were several uh, sentences there which I put here uh, under numbers, so can uh, discuss them one by one. So he says that to have a dark room environment, you have to close the whole tent up, so sleep in it out in the sun. And then the sentence was with three exclamation signs. Every tent, when it is under direct sunlight, will be hot. You cannot stay there during the day. This has practically nothing to do with the dark rest design. And I will show you just pictures to realize why this is so. This is one example. This is a tent from the core brand. As you see, nothing from the from outside is dark, only here at the ground. Look at this. This is a tent from Coleman. Uh, they build it for a European market. And as you see, it's green and gray from outside. More. This is insulated, so I will not discuss it right now, but again, Coleman a tent with a green fly. Look at this. This is Berghaus Kepler Nightfall. Uh, remember the terminology. And it is gray. And uh, finally, this tent from Robbins, which is again dark rest type. There is nothing dark from outside. If you put any of these tents on the direct uh, sunlight, of course, it will be hot inside, but this is nothing, has nothing to do with the dark red design. I have been uh, recently uh, in the mountains and I used several tents. So in official camps, I uh, had my Alpha Breeze, uh, Snow Peak Alpha Breeze tent, which is actually in ivory color. I always tried to put it in the shade uh, Usually these uh, camps have some trees around, but sometimes you cannot find a good place. Uh, it is crowded and so on, or just the sun moves. And then it is uh, under the sun. Uh, it's unbearable. You cannot stay inside. And uh, again, this, this is not a dark rest. Uh, uh, and it is warm inside. So what this person expects from a dark rest tent is simply not reasonable. Then there is a statement that the coating is a black plastic that apparently has a high heat capacity and also a high absorption and radiation capacity. Uh, I'm to be uh, to, to stress that I actually don't know which uh, tent was in question. But uh, dark rest tents uh, do not have uh, black material from outside typically and uh, if there is a coating it's not necessarily dark uh, every uh, camping tent has a coating and uh, this coating this uh, that you have on the underside of, of a fly is a very thin layer uh, definitely with uh, not uh, without it's not with a high heat capacity and high absorption so as soon as uh, the sun sets, uh, the tent is completely different. I mean, the atmosphere in the tent. 
So the statement simply makes no sense. Then he says that he measured, measured the inner surface of the roof and it was 20 degrees Celsius hotter. I guess this person could have measured the, uh, the temperature in any other tent in the camp where he was, that was not a dark rest and he would find the same. And the uh, conclusion, uh, as a result, the whole of the tent is much hotter than a tent with a good quality light colored roof. Speaking from my own uh, bad experience with an excellent tent that I have, if it is uh, uh, in a direct sunlight, uh, it is very hot. So this statement uh, makes no sense at all. And uh, five, it, it, it can be cooler in it only at night. This holds for any, any tent, no matter if it is uh, dark rest or not dark rest. Uh, at night, it radiates heat back to the sky and this increases condensation. Uh, again, as I mentioned uh, previously, heat capacity of these materials is low. There is nothing to radiate back in a long interval. And I don't, uh, I cannot take this statement seriously. This cannot really affect condensation in a measurable way. So I, I think that this uh, is simply a uh, wrong statement, it makes no sense to me. So this is, I think, how I, uh, what I wanted to say uh, to answer the statements from the comment that I received. And just to show you some good examples, this is a tent from Core brand. As you see, it's not dark, it's actually gray fly. Here you have green gray uh, Coleman tent built for the European market. There is nothing uh, dark from outside. Uh, more, this is an insulated tent from uh, Kua outdoors. So you can put it in any other tent uh, and then you will have actually dark rest uh, uh, area inside because it is very thick and uh, material and dark from inside. Uh, again, one tent from Coleman with a green fly. So nothing dark. Look at this Berghaus Kepler night, a nightfall, uh, remember the terminology, nightfall air tent. So gray, uh, gray uh, it, I mean there is nothing dark from outside and uh, finally this tent from Robbins, excellent tent, as you see quite light, I mean this is uh, had nothing to do with uh, dark rest, uh, I mean, from outside, but inside this is actually a dark rest design. And uh, I would say, yes, uh, dark rest tents or black tents are, uh, are indeed worth it, uh, especially if you, uh, if you camp with small kids and uh, you know that they had to uh, take a nap during the day, uh, this is a good, a good option. As the person was complaining, if you close everything, of course it will be uh, hot inside if it is uh, not uh, in, in a shade, but you don't really have to close everything. You can uh, keep some mesh areas open for ventilation. And again, it should be uh, in a shade. So make sure that you position your tent. So at least during the uh, warmest hours in a day uh, that it is in, in the shade. So uh, I think this is all I wanted to say related to this issue. Uh, please uh, subscribe to my channel. Give me a like if this uh, presentation is useful to you and see you next time.